Hi, everybody. Along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Emmerich, right before game time here. It's an interesting sport in that sometimes your best players only wind up playing a third of the time, but boy, do they ever make a contribution. And that's why the other two-thirds, Doc, have to be important. Team game, hockey, that's exactly what it's all about. But when you have star players, those are the guys that get the meat of the minutes, the most important minutes, in order to allow you to win hockey games. Manson's probably going to be one of those players on the ice in those high-pressure situations. He told me before the game he really enjoys the challenge. Expect to see him in those crucial minutes. We direct our attention to the Nets and the starting goalies. His team has been playing, but he hasn't. That changes tonight with start number one. Coming off a victory, he gets the start tonight. We are ready for the first face-off of the night. Galchenyuk's a good face-off man, ready for the Coyotes. Gets laughs opposite him for the Ducks. Smart recovery by Ekman Larson. Gains the zone. Turn the shot on net. Save there. Laid on to Jalmerson. Free puck off a defender. Chip to Ekman Larson. Lindholm's tripped up. That should be a penalty. Grabs that pass in the offensive zone. The Coyotes get a two-minute penalty for tripping. I'm going to give credit to the puck carry here. He kept his legs moving. He forced the back checker to reach in and take him off his feet. Anaheim's power play unit makes its debut tonight. Well, the power play guys have to go to work now. This is an opportunity they hope for. You want one early, and you want to see if you can get on the board first. A howitzer. That puck is out of play in the stands. Critical face-off win there. Wonderful stop. And that one sent back out. Terrific determination by Fowler. Cuts off that pass in the attacking zone. Muscled off. Passing one off now to Getzlaff. Swept on to Fowler. Just got it at the last moment. That's the end. Good work by Jalmerson. And he dumps it in. Doesn't really matter what the power play looks like if you can't get pucks to the net. If they can't get traffic to the goaltender and pucks arriving at the same time, there is zero chance this power play will be successful. It's an onside play. That one is pointed to him. Cuts off the passing lane in the defensive zone. It's dumped in. The Ducks go back to pick it up. Time is dwindling on this power play. Gets that one on a cross. Takes that pass. A shot. Great save. That didn't go like he wanted. Cleared back out again, and so the power play unit has to drop back. The Ducks control the play in the defensive zone. Anaheim's power play could have made a big difference, but did not. Gathered up by Henrique. Got it all! That puck is held and the whistle stops playing. Ryan Getzlaff's famous for a lot of reasons. He was born in Saskatchewan, but he spent four years traveling the buses in the Western Hockey League playing for a team called the Calgary Hitmen. And then things really took off for him. And he's a guy that doesn't mind playing on the body. But the one thing I'd like to see Ryan Getzlaff do is shoot the puck a little bit more. He's got a lethal shot. And the puck goes to Alex Galchenya, former player for the Sarnia Sting. Looks ahead to start something. Pass attempt to Raquel. Shoots it off. Outstanding save with a glove. Just under six minutes have transpired. Both teams are still looking for their first strike. 
The Ducks win the draw. Slid to Rowney. Skill play by Grabner. Rebounds it forward to Goligoski. Slides it to the point. Just a backhand. Say. And he puts the glove on it and stops playing. As soon as the shooter starts to release this, the goalie drops to the butterfly. Hey, buddy, pick up your head. You might see he's down on his knees already. The tie-up. He needed help, and he got it. Puck is thrown to Ponick. Using the point, he's got it. Directed on, he scores! Well, they jumped up on the bench beside me pretty quickly here. Very excited on the one side to have the game's first goal. Some shots, only one goal. A lot of opportunities. Love the mindset of getting pucks and people to the net. Anaheim's won that faceoff and possession established. Michael Grabner up to the point. Let's it go. Oh, a near miss too high. I can't believe he missed the net there. I like this mascot, guys. He's kind of goofy. The fans are getting a charge out of him. He's running all over the building, keeping them engaged in the game, too. And he's not like some of those mascots that look horrifying that you're scared of. This is good stuff. Directing that one to Ponick. On to Schmaltz. Turned away with the stick. Oh, that, that was in the net! What happened? All kinds of odd goals happen from time to time. This one just works its way in. A little under nine minutes have been played in the first period. They've been able to add to their total. Their lead now is two. Puck drop, tie up, and help from the winger. Puck over the glass, and we get a stoppage of play because of that. Never satisfied. Never take your foot off the gas pedal. He's got two goals now. He'd better be thinking about getting number three. The Ducks with a win at center. Takes his pass from the goalie. Holds on and gets that whistle. Anaheim's got that face-off win. Missed with the shot! You can't score if you don't hit the net, Doc. Stud him right out. Loose puck due to the play by Ekman Larson. Couldn't do what he wanted. Pucks loose, mishandled. To Galchenyuk. Looking to Hinostroza. Picks it up in his own end. Swipes that. Arizona's forced another turnover in this very close game. Very important steal for him. Gets last, tripped, and a penalty should be coming. Arizona's given a minor here for tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. The Ducks' power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Well, the power play hasn't come through for them yet. Here's another opportunity. See if they can take advantage of it. Shoots one. Terrific shot, but a denial. Nice work by Shore. Lifts one. Hits the post and out. And that one cleared by the penalty killers. Anaheim's in their own end, hoping to make a play to center. He finished his check right in the middle of the ice. Since the rules have changed a little bit, you're not able to hold up quite as much as you used to. 
A rarity is an open ice hit. That is a big one. Kemper's made some super saves look extremely easy. Over seven minutes to go. Two goals have been scored, both by one team. Good clean win on the draw. Passes into unhindered terrain. Propelled to Perry. Receives that pass from the other side. To Perry. The shot blocked. Collected in the corner. Shoots it. Oh, and it's off the mark. That's a good scoring chance. He's trying to be too fine, trying to pick the corner. Sometimes you've just got to shoot it at the middle of the net. Right to the point. Laid on to Richardson. Really good cut of the pass. In with it now. Terrific determination by Perry. Nice stick by the defense. Anaheim's carrying it in their own zone. Pitching this one to Getzlaff. Has that one measured in his own end. He takes that point pass. Arizona's killed off the penalty. Back to full strength. Somebody got in early, and so it's an offside. Kemper's made a textbook stop here. He's in good shape positionally. He makes the save, and he makes it look really easy. Arizona's won that neutral zone faceoff. Fantastic shutdown. And they've got it again. The Coyotes arrive at center. Around to the corner. Shot. That puck was obstructed by a screen. Great stick. No chance on that pass. Fires. Gets a blocker on it. Recollected. Good solid defensive play with the stick. Puck grab. What's next? Just couldn't find the target. Coach has always told to hit the net. He was trying to be way too fine with that shot, and unfortunately for him, skates away empty-handed. And he picks it up. And now it's directed to Galchenyuk. Broke that play up at center. The Ducks are at the wing in neutral ice. Gathered up again by Henrique. Cut that pass in his own end. Let's it go. And a save. Pitching it to Henry. Fires a shot. Routine save, but a necessary one. First period has been played. An interesting start to all of this. Continuation in just a moment. The Coyotes have a 2-0 advantage. As a safety issue and courtesy to you, our fellow fans, please keep the aisles clear during game play and wait for a break in the action to lead or return to your seat. Arizona's netminder has fashioned a goose egg on the opposition side of the scoreboard. At the end of this period, we are still thinking about the last huge save, which was this one, right back after this. 20 minutes in the books, 20 minutes ahead. And so what did you think of the first? Anaheim's time on attack was limited, and so they find themselves chasing the game. There's still time to turn it around. Let's see if the coach stressed the importance of puck possession. Puck dropped and the clock moving in the second period. Cut that pass in his own end. Good defensive play. Loose puck, though. Dogged determination there by Getzlaff. Carries it to the corner. Brings a shot. Wonderful save. It didn't look like he had a thing to shoot at. That great save was all positioning. 
You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save. Good job on the draw. The Coyotes keep the play going in the middle. Taken over again. Anaheim's lugging it around in the neutral zone. And this play is whistled down. It is offside. Over three minutes off the clock here in the second. The Coyotes with the lead, 2-0. And the faceoff's won. Carries it on in from center. Knocked off the puck. Puck gathered in behind the net. He throws it there. What a terrific save. Slid back across from one point to the other. Trying to go to Grabner. Two goals so far, Doc. He's out there vying for the third one to give him the hat trick. Oh, what a terrific save in close. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Looks to make a play from the corner. Chip to Fowler. The Ducks are skating it up at neutral ice. Points it. And a save. That puck's loose, mishandled. The roadblock helped. To Grabner. Driving in from no man's land. At least he protected his goaltender. That puck is loose on good defensive play. Demers is hooked, and there will be a penalty call. Anaheim's roster goes down by one here. At least briefly, a minor penalty for hooking. This was okay about 10 years ago. Not anymore. That's a hooking call. The Coyotes will get their first power play crack of the game. Let's see how they do. You can turn the tide of a game on a power play, whether you score or not, by getting shots, by getting traffic, and by keeping the puck in the offensive zone. If you chase it up and down the ice all the time, nothing gets accomplished. Sends to the point. Wonderful block. And that one has cleared more time off that penalty clock as they drop back and wait for another rush. Snapping a pass to step on. Got it at the point. A point blast. He wore that puck on a hard shot. He can take that kick pass. Collected by Fowler. Pass off the woodwork to step on. Back to the blue line. Can he clear? And the penalty killers come up big again. It's clear. Really solid job done defensively. That takes some of the pressure off when you can use your stick like that. Gives it to the point. And the whistle is blown. The net has come off its moorings. This is always so frustrating. The puck's around the net. You get yourself there, now you bump into the net, and it bumps off the moorings. The play is whistled dead. Neutralized face-off win. Solid work there by Henrique. Got it back out of the zone. Moving it to Chikrin. A hit that can make you mad. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Muscled long to Schmaltz. Anaheim's killed off a penalty, and so we're back at full strength. Many yards gained to Demers. Pass the blue line. Not on the net. You're right, Doc. That one-timer was really close. However, the puck was just a bit behind him. It's a difficult shot. He missed wide. Gathered up again by Demers. Skates it into the zone. Scooped up by Richardson. A shot. No! He might want to consider taking a bit off that shot to up his accuracy, Doc. That 
Buff careened off the broken stick out there. Outstanding body contact. Ekman Larson's often the focus of other teams' physical play. He's going to have to pick himself up after he got trucked there. Passing one off now to Jalmerson. Slid to Richardson. Closed off effectively and sealed. Shoots. Score! They're back to within one. Perry's wrist shot was heavy and quick. Outstanding shot. He had the puck on his stick for just a second before he delivered it right up into the top of the net. Anaheim's gotten an important goal here. They call it the proximate goal. It gets you back to within one. And considering we're in the second period, that's a nice step. Pass attempt to step up. Fires! That's a, he only got the outside of the post! Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to do a much better job challenging him. Anaheim's prevailed on another faceoff. Puck is thrown to Perry. Takes it in from the neutral zone. The Coyotes waiting back in their own end. Directing that one to Fisher. That puck's loose, deflected away by Getzlaff. Fires! Oh, great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. He's got that point pass. Let's the shot fly. Save there. Puck covered, whistle blown. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. Just past three minutes still to play in this period. Anaheim's just cut the lead in half. Solid, clean win. Takes a perfect pass. Well, that's what your wings are for. They give it to you right in the center. To Grabner. Grabner's effort on that last goal was unbelievable. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Looking to Fowler. On to Shore. That puck's loose. Good defense. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. to Schmaltz. Pitching this one to Grabner. Into the attacking end. Huge hit in open ice. You have a hit like this, there will be more to follow. From that cluster of players kicked out. The Ducks have it along the side at mid-ice. Goalie to the bench on the delayed call. Extra man is out. Ponix going to the box, and the call is tripping. Oh, this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. And decides to just cover it up and get the whistle. 19 minutes, 58 seconds. Coyotes have the lead, and with goaltending like this, they might just keep it. But we'll have to see after we go to break. Third period about to begin. What did you think of the second? 
the Ducks are lucky to still be in this game. They've been outplayed in a lot of areas, especially with the time of possession. But one lucky shift or one lucky bounce, they're right back in it. Period begins. Still a shorthanded situation and some time to chew off the penalty clock. Sent on back down by Ekman Larson. And now it's directed to Henrique. Carried through the middle. Oh, the pass just didn't work. Laid on to Raquel. Loose puck, not stick handled well there. And holds on to that puck to get the whistle. Clean win on the draw. Ah, oh, they got it out. They check the clock and prepare to defend some more. Pitching it to Getzlaff. Trying to go to Henrique. And he steps in. Skill play by Fowler. To the point it comes. Couldn't make it through. Can't retain possession. Oh, broke it up. Held up against the boards. Lindholm's hooked on the play. There will be a penalty. Arizona's two-minute penalty is a minor, and the call is hooking. Uh, more times than not, Doc, anytime you reach in around a player's hands that has the puck, you're going to get a hooking minor. A five-on-three power play. It may seem like a sure goal, but sure things are never sure in hockey. The Ducks win it. They didn't take advantage on the power play earlier in the game. Let's see if they can jump on the board here. Loose pop knocked away by Perry. And so that one is cleared, and they check the clock and get ready for more. The power play unit has to recoil and try yet again. Snapping a pass to Kasha. Read that play in his own end. And that will help to at least clear the puck away. Moving it to shore. Anaheim's along the wing at center ice. One-timer. Wonderful stop. Pass comes to him from the crease. The bench can switch now following that clear. Passed up the wing to shore. Passing one off now to Kasha. That was one he'll get the number on. I really like the effort that he's trying there to generate a turnover by finishing his jump. Back to the point. Power play meter is still running. It's taken by Shore. Pass attempt to Dvorak. They need to get a rest for some players. It's dumped into the offensive zone. Forwards are changing. Good intercept in his own end. And he steps across the line. The Ducks' power play unit continues to be a bunch of offers. Can start the attack going in the zone. Took that away in his own zone. Puck comes out of the zone back to center ice, and so things will settle a bit. Arizona's lugging it along in the defensive zone. That's a good defensive stick there. Two sticks together, they cancel. Oh, what a save. He brought his best shot, and it got stopped. Gibson's going to be able to make that save all day. His positioning is perfect. It's not a difficult scoring chance. Just over five minutes have transpired in the third. It is a tight contest thus far with the score 2-1. to one. Puck is thrown to Rowney. Puts one on. Great save. The Ducks have the puck at center ice. And we have offside call here. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go.
And they won the neutral zone faceoff. That puck is loose. No luck getting through that time. Directing that one to Hinostroza. Picks it up back there. And he dumps it in. To Galchenyuk. Arizona's looking to head man up the wing. Takes it from the boards and looks on. Got that pass in his own end. Solid defensive play. Is able to move on in. In the slot. Outstanding glove on a shot that changed direction. And still another save. What a show. Amazing reflexes on that second chance. Lots on that to Galchenyuk. Flings it wide of the net. Oh, close call there. Cousins saw some open net and missed it completely. It's almost like these teams are mirror images of each other. There's no room on the ice. Nobody has been able to spread out the play and generate a whole ton of scoring chances. It's chipped in. To Shore. Looking to Richie. Bumped. Loses it. Good job off that left wing and a perfect pass. Chooses the corner for this. Just a backhand. Missed the net. Well, that puck slowed up and just missed the side of the net. Brings it in for an attack. A shot. Got that in the trapper. We go down to the benches. Here's Ray. Kemper's been incredibly stable tonight. Any chance that's come his way, he's snuffed it out. He's given his team so much confidence. That's a championship performance tonight. Look how fortunate his team is that he's played like this. He has been spectacular in goal tonight. Absolutely, Ray. Thank you. Drop. They lock up, and that's a good shot by the winger. Crosses that line. Takes that pass up the boards. Great stick there. Lost possession there. Pitching this one to Raquel. Oh, bad giveaway there. Shoots. Had it away. Pass to the point. Great chance, but he missed. Oh, that shot exploded off the stick. Just over the net. Fires. Freezes play. Anaheim's not a team to be taken lightly, Doc. They're up next on the schedule, and of course, we'll be calling all the action. Some great, exciting hockey games ahead. Great offensive zone win. Takes that pass from the other point man. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Steps across that line. Using the point. Shot on. High. Smart recovery by Perry. The Ducks with a neutral zone possession along the way. Chip to Chikrin. Looking for options out of their own end. Gathered up again by Perry. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Steps in from the neutral zone. We are in the last minute. Important interception there. That's a really dangerous area with the puck, and he turned it over. Now the opponent has a short ice to attack. That puck has to go forward into a safe area 100% of the time. Centermen practice this so many times at the end of their game day workouts. And here comes the biggest one, perhaps, of the whole season. Good save there. Puck loose, he couldn't get by. Shutout positioning by Demers. Got it in his own end. The Coyotes are driving it from the wing. Intercepted it in no man's land. Flings it. Oh, a save there. Slid. Score! And this one has been tied. Half the people were leaving.
That's a pretty aggressive goalie pull by the coaching staff. They had to do something, and they're rewarded with a goal with their goalie sitting on the bench. Shore has gotten this game tied up at its most dramatic moment, the waning moments of the third. Tie up and help from the winger. Shore, assisted by number 47, Campus Lindholm. Gets it in a good place. Dig, dig. And he's tied up and held. Nice job done with the stick. A poke check frees things up a bit. We had three periods of hockey action, and we come out flat even. Hey, fans, time for our parachute drop. Like to join our insiders the Ducks, on the strength of this play, have brought a tie into extra time. Overtime is after this. Membership is free, so what are you waiting for? Join our Insiders Club today. We have begun sudden death overtime. If no one scores in this next stretch, we'll be headed for a shootout. A whistle and a rest. Couldn't have been a bigger face-off win there. Back and forth they go between the points. Anaheim's got possession in the defensive zone. On to Getzlaff. Brings a shot. Oh, what a stop. Great opportunity. Better stop. That's a huge face-off victory for them. Smart recovery by Ekman Larson. Arizona's in the neutral zone along the way. Let's it go. A good stick stop. And he holds on and stops play. Gibson's able to deflect this into the corner. That's a really easy stick stop for him. Face-off win. Save! That move not too slick there. The Ducks carry through center. Shoots one. Clubbed. Ekman Larson's trying to work his way to center ice. Free puck now. Anaheim's finding its way to center ice. Terrific determination by Jalmerson. And now it's directed to Henestroza. Loose puck did not go well. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Fires off a body. Makes the stop and holds for the whistle. Gibson's made several excellent saves. None better than that, certainly none bigger than that one here in overtime. An outstanding win of that faceoff. Long lead pass to Silverberg. One timer. He had a great chance, but he has just missed the net. Oh, you got to get that on the net. He leaned into this. That thing was by the goalie, but he just missed the net. Got that pass in his own end. Great job slipping on by. Here it comes. Great glove save, and he keeps it. The Coyotes skated up on the side. Propelled to Chikrin. 
great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. Is it over? Wrist shot. Save. Gathered up by Ponick. And in flight over the line. Score! Game over! Overtime winning goal! And that's the end of the game. Well played. Anaheim's defeat will be a tough one to swallow. Not have a great start, but finished up strong, but comes up a little bit short. Some nights are special in memory. This one was an outstanding game. So long for now.